Uh, November is National Picture Book Month, and today we're talking to a local author who's written a book that is encouraging young women to get into the STEAM fields. No stranger to the show, Douglas Haddad, an educator and author. Good to see you again, sir. Nice to be back, Tim. Yeah, glad to have you here. Great, thank uh, you. I know you've written other books in the past, but yes. not children's books from what I know. So no. what prompted this change to write, uh, and by the way, we should yeah, say the name of the book, Maya McClure, The Brave Science Girl, The Toad Cave. That's right. Yes. Well, I've been a science teacher for 24 years, and my students have really inspired me to write this book. And what's interesting is with the whole aspect of seeing over the years, there's been disparity of historically more males than females in STEM-related professions, or right. STEAM, should we say. Yeah. So I want to write a book to encourage, inspire, and uplift young girls to be leaders and to actually be change makers in their communities and use the voices they have to do that. Yep. Uh, my daughter's over four and a half years old now, and she's a big inspiration ah, for the book. There you go. So we read countless children's books and for her to actually see her daddy's book there and right. read about it and say, I love this character, Maya McClure, it's awesome. So what about the character? What is Maya like? Well, well, the book's geared to ages four to eight, and Maya is a second grader. She's brave, compassionate, and she's very much obsessed with all things science. Mm. So she wants to be a change maker in her community and stop this deforestation going on. Okay. So she rallies the community together. She wants to save the forest. And in the process, she <laughs> saves these displaced toads, and she works with her teacher, Miss Russell, to help actually build these toad caves. Okay. And I won't give it away, Tim, but <laughs> in, in the process, um, there's this unanticipated crisis that happens, so Maya has to figure out, using science and problem solving, how to help save the day. So it's really a story of courage, conviction, compassion, and friendship, and when we unite together on a common mission, shows we can achieve anything. So you get some readings about this coming up, right? Yes, I do, yeah. We have at Barnes & Noble in, actually, Canton on December 9th at 11 a.m. We're going to be doing a read-aloud. We're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be playing some live music. I okay. wrote a song oh, all about right. it. So we got all wow. kinds of cool things, arts and crafts and a book sign. It's like a triple threat, educator, yeah. author, <laughs> yeah. singer. You're going to do some dancing, a little soft oh, yeah. too? Oh, yeah, I'm sure we will. <laughs> uh, is there also, a, I think you were mentioning yeah. a, a giveaway, too, along with yes. the book. Yes, uh, so along with the purchase of a book, we're doing a 30-plus page activity book where it's all things related to Maya. So it's kids four to eight. They're able to do puzzles, word searches, uh, social-emotional learning is in there, vocabulary, science activities, and also um, there'll be all kinds of different things in there where they can have fun facts about toads, bees, and nature. So if you go on my website, DougHeadEd.com, um, there's directions on how you can either email me or you can direct message me through social media, and you just got to get a screenshot of the proof of purchase, and then got I'll it. provide the activity code for the free download. There you go. Uh, yeah. Other websites, they can buy the book right on your website too, right? Uh, they can go to Amazon, Amazon. And, and Barnes & Noble. Yep. They can get a lot of different yeah. places. Thank you so much. Thank you. Douglas Haddad. Yeah. Pleasure. Please uh, get those kids, yeah, into not just STEM, but STEAM fields, too. And it looks like he is, he's uh, covered all of them right there in that book, The Great Story of Maya.